Oh, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is a little message on art. Art is so valuable and so important. And we're, okay, we're saving some art right here, but we like to encourage our brothers and sisters, especially those who have the talent um, for painting and skill. And there's a lot of vids and, you know, a lot of stills actually that come to mind that we like to um, point out, and no doubt you've seen it in some of the previous vids. Okay, this is a site up here. We're just doing a little search, and we said we just record a little something, put a little something up here on this particular um, topic and point, and then go through a little more detail as we go along. We're working on a discipleship booklet, and um, we were looking for some pictures to basically um, tell our story. You understand from the Ethiopian Hebrew perspective. In other words, pictures that reflect the true humanity of the people of the Bible. In other words, our Ethiopian Hebrewness, ones might say our blackness, but black is a you know, black is a generalized um color. So we was looking for um actually a picture of you see this here, this is um, Carl um, Heinrich a Block, Carl Heinrich Block's famous um, Sermon on the Mount. And so in our discipleship booklet, one of the opening um, teachings is on the Sermon on the Mount, in other words, beginning from, from the beginning of the Gospel, the Wengel. So we was looking for some pictures you know, um, one can say generally black pictures, but more specifically Ethiopian Hebrew and our humanity. I think this is a Laura James picture right here. This looks like a Laura James. It's a Laura James picture, even though the site doesn't give attribution, but it's good to see her, her art getting around. So on the Sermon on the Mount, we wanted to find, um, instead of, as our brothers would say, a Peckerwood image, a more authentic, you know, in order to preach the gospel of good news and spirit and truth. And we almost had, um, you could say we almost had, had given up, but we continued to, you know, look for various images. And then we came across, I think, Will, Will Portis. Will Portis actually saved the day. And this is his image right here. This is a Will Portis image. It's a really beautiful painting right here of Yeshua on the Mount. So this is a message to seek to encourage the artists, you know, the artists out there, the brothers and sisters. Um, I pray that you gain the confidence to go forward in your call and to encourage the, the artists out there to get busy. Basically, there's, there's a lot of work to do, you know. There's no such thing as unemployment in the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ. So we just pointed this out to, um, we touched on the art before, but we're going to make a more concerted effort um, to commission artists in order for us to more accurately tell our story. This is an interesting image here, not an Ethiopian image, but it's in the Ethiopian style right here. You can see that very carefully and clearly. So these are some other images right here. And some of the older um, non-European uh, Jesus images, I can go back to the Russian Orthodox, it's very clear that they recognize the humanity of Christ and the bronzeness and the blackness, uh, the Ethiopianness of the imagery when you look at Ethiop and when you look at Russian Orthodox images. So it kind of makes sense when Stalin and them and what occurred in Russia destroying the church as well as the imagery. A lot of it was suppressed. Some of it was lost, but some actually went underground because, you know, the true Christians, whether they are white Russians or not, they, they, they recognize the authenticity. Look at this garbage here. See, this is the kind of garbage that you'll, that you'll find out there. You know what I mean? Anyway, be that as it may, we want to point out Will Portis's. Let's go back to Will Portis's image up here one more time. Take a look. We want to give um, 
the artist uh, the do on his work. Where's the Will Portis image? One more time, the Will Portis image of the Sermon on the Mount. Um, from an uh, Ethiopian perspective, Ethiopian Hebrew, remember Amos 9 and 7, aren't you like unto the Ethiopians unto me? The children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel. So we was looking for an image, and, and it took us a, a little while to actually come across this particular, um, let's see if we can get a, 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 a closer up. And, and close out with a, a closer up of it. So, the Lion Jude Society of His Imperial Majesty for our education and fine arts. Education and fine arts is, is, is one department, in other words, according to teaching of His Imperial Majesty, they go hand in hand because without the fine arts, in other words, without the proper um, pictures and images that are close to the spirit and truth of the logos or, or of the word, um, that makes our job, our work, our labor that much more difficult. So those brothers and sisters out there, those of you who do have artistic um, skills, um, um, please get in touch with I and I, lojsociety.org. Hit us up on the contact. Once again, this is a very, very beautiful um, picture right here. I don't know if I can machine seems to be a little bit slow right now. Um, we'll see what we can do. All right. We're going to present more about this as we go forward. But this is to commission artists for the kingdom. Okay. It's signed off. All right. Shalom. Rastafari.